Have you ever wondered why focusing can be a challenge? A skill that many have trouble achieving. The belief that we can multitask and achieve outstanding results. Hi, my name is Gabriel Company and welcome to the Gabriel Company Show. Today, I want to share three tips that I use every day that helps me focus and get my work done. Number one, eliminate any surrounding distractions. Yo, oh my god, dude, I got two kills already. Five. Oh my god, yo, I'm saying it. Oh, sorry, didn't see that. I'm just gonna turn my voice. This is crucial. Many of us can get easily distracted, especially with funny videos, games, or maybe our family members. Knowing what our distractions are will allow us to become aware and limit them. For those of you that may not know, Do Not Disturb allows you to focus more when doing work. In doing so, this eliminates any distractions that could sidetrack you from doing work. However, if you're someone that urges to use the phone, I will show you a way to put your apps on Do Not Disturb. I will do it on an iPhone and a Samsung. So you just want to swipe down twice, then you want to locate Do Not Disturb, which mine is here, click and hold. Then you want to turn it on and you'll see there's a schedule. You can pick a schedule. It's also duration. You can have one hour or ask anytime or until you turn off. High notifications. However, you will still get notifications from calls and messages. And you can pick which ones you want. Favorite contacts, none, contacts only, same as from calls. For the iPhone, you want to go on your settings. You want to look for do not disturb. You want to turn it on. There's a schedule. You also have allow calls from from everyone, no one, favorites, or groups from all contacts. Ask yourself this, where does my mind run to when doing work? Why do I do this? And how can I remove the distraction? Understanding each distraction will allow you to gain focus and use your time more effectively. Same as analyzing your habits, you can write it down and visually see what is distracting you. However, if family members distract you, then it may be best to explain to them the importance of what you're trying to achieve. Number two, avoid multitasking. Multitasking sounds like a great idea, right? Especially if you have a to-do list or you're probably racing time to get things done as quickly as possible. Well, don't. Although we may have a to-do list, multitasking will in fact limit and lower how productive and efficient we can be as well as the quality of work we do. Number three, the power of taking breaks. Reward yourself. Relax your mind. Recharge those batteries. Take one hour break. Do what things distract you. However, you will get involved and you'll probably do more things that distract you and you get too much in and you probably won't want to get out of the zone. You won't be able to do work. There are ways to avoid this. You can set up a one hour alarm and it will help you. Remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Boom.